Meet Hydro. Six years old, autistic, he does not speak. Like so many autistic children, Hydro lives in a world that is, in many ways, his and his alone. And he's very hyper. Recently, Hydro's mother discovered a new form of therapy. Put the boy on a horse, like this one owned by a family friend, and he changes. So that was helping him calming down when he was getting the hippotherapy here with us. Therapy with a horse is actually called hippotherapy. Medicaid would not cover the cost, so Hydro's family began their own therapy on a horse owned by the boy's uncle. Pretty good horse, pretty good with kids and stuff, so we decided to use them for uh, my nephew. This weekend, that horse somehow got trapped in a Progresso drain pipe and died. The Donez family saw our story about that and the loss of a therapy horse. Eight-year-old DeMarco offered to give up the pet he has had for six years, woe pinky woe, so Jairo could continue his therapy. It took a little doing, but out came woe pinky woe. Your son's been all over and under this horse. Yes, he has. And so uh, how does it feel for you to be parting with the animal now uh, under these circumstances? You know, I feel sad, but I know it's for a good cause and he needs it. And I know that he can find better use for him than what we have. He will be able to gain his speech again and uh, hopefully, um, you know, not be so hyper as he usually is. Pet the horse, it's nice. A brief introduction. You like it? <laughs> and Jairo is back in the saddle again. Actually, bareback this time around. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, buddy. He has some good times on this one. <laughs> Sounded a little like the word wow there. Could be the therapy Come on, is working already. <laughs> <laughs>